William Arthur Ward wrote, greatness is not found in possessions, position, power, or prestige. It is discovered in goodness, humility, service, and character. And since 1987, the Western Reserve chapter of the Lynx Incorporated has been the epitome of greatness. Western Reserve chapter of the Lynx Incorporated was born from the Western Reserve Women's Interest Group. These 23 strong and amazing women were led by Gloria Pace King and on June 20th, 1987, became the 55th chapter in the Central Area and the second of two chapters in the Cleveland area. The Lynx Incorporated was organized by two women, Margaret Hawkins and Sarah Strickland Scott, very close friends, women of purpose and commitment in the Philadelphia community. And they felt at that time with the issues that were confronting our country in the mid 20th century, that there was a need for an organization of individuals who were well positioned, who had access, who had vision and who had voice. They gathered several other friends, seven to be exact, and they began to think through how can we make an impact on those things that are impacting the African American community. Western Reserve Links is proudly one of 274 chapters in 42 states. Since the early days of the chapter, every profession imaginable has been represented. Presidents and membership have included healthcare executives, educators, attorneys, psychologists, physicians, dentists, accountants, authors, artists, journalists, social workers, elected officials, and bank executives. These women have shared their leadership and skills from the corporate world to influence positive change in the Cleveland community. The national organization has five facet areas or program focus areas, and they are the arts, national trends, international trends, services to youth, and health and human services. Over this past uh, program year, the 45 active members of the Western Reserve chapter have documented more than 4,000 hours of community service, which is in excess of 2,000 more than what would have been required. From helping young girls at Cleveland's Warner Girls Leadership Academy to helping teen mothers with the Color Me Learning program, these dynamic women have led the Western Reserve Links to Cleveland's forefront in volunteerism. Over the last 25 years, we've focused on children and their families, primarily in the areas of education, the arts, health and wellness, self-sufficiency. We've always recognized the importance of programs or programming because that's a more sustained and comprehensive way of addressing needs and issues in our community. Well, the Western Reserve chapter over 25 years has actually provided the community with 25 programs. One of our most important assets that we've brought to the community is with a program we call Conversations With, which is a speakers series. And we not only bring in internationally renowned speakers, but we also bring them in to do dialogue. And as you know, dialogue is one of the ways that we can deepen relationships. And one of the things that we do when we do programming in the community, whether it's with the Sutphin Music School, the Warner Girls Leadership Academy, or George Washington Carver, is that we engage the community in dialogue that we think will help impact the way the community responds to the needs. So when I think about the Western Reserve chapter of the Lynx and their own network of sisters and sisterhood, they really have become our adopted big sisters, so to speak, of our young students. They have provided financial resources, but even more so than that, leadership resources, uh, tutoring our students, really caring for them, really helping them to develop strong uh, work habits and also strong nutritional habits, exercise habits. What I like about being a Warner Wildflower is that everyone in our garden is compassionate, competent, and competent. What I like about being a Warner Wildflower is that um, we feel like we're a family here and no one is left behind. Western Reserve Links have an unwavering dedication to the arts. 
That's evident in their support of African-American visual artists, writers, performers, musicians, conductors, and arts professionals through such programs as the American Place Theater's Literature to Life, the George Washington Carver Elementary School Arts Education, and the Case Western Reserve School of Dentistry initiatives. A three-year commitment as Friends of Sutphin School of Music at Phyllis Wheatley help students apply developing musical skills to educational attainment. When it comes to Western Reserve chapter of Lynx Incorporated, giving is essential. Whether it's teaming with the Cleveland chapter of the Lynx to collect donations for the annual walkathon or raising money for the Cleveland Foundation Endowment, the Western Reserve Lynx talk the talk and walk the walk. So the things coming in and being very focused in terms of schools and in terms of groups in the school, in terms of all of that uh, with an expected outcome, uh, you get, you get a, uh, greater results from that. And the partnership between the, uh, the established system and institution and the nonprofit uh, it really is a great partnership that, uh, again, is essential to success. The reach of the Western Reserve Lynx is more than local. The dedicated women of this chapter have stretched their arms as far away as Latin America and Africa, wrapping them around such programs as the Lost Boys of Sudan. We've touched the lives of hundreds of families, thousands of students, and we've collected educational materials for students in the Bahamas, San Salvador in particular, and in Uganda, where we have an ongoing pen pal relationship with girls at a similar school to the one that we are addressing in Cleveland. When we party, we do it with a purpose. Mardi Gras, the Karamu House Project, and Fashion with a Flair raised money for facet programs as well as to establish an endowment at the Cleveland Foundation for Community Programs. More than $1,200 was collected for books, games, and toys for the Karamu House Daycare Center. And the endowment is now over $30,000 and continues to generate sustainable funds. I really rely on organizations like the Western Reserve Lynx to assist me in understanding how we can best support activities in this community. And I know that firsthand because I've had links on our board of directors for a long time and also part of the staff of the, of the Rock Hall. So I'm really thrilled to be here today to congratulate the Western Reserve Links on 25 years of service and not just to the community of Cleveland but also to the world. We've raised funds to address a number of needs from a woman and her family as she underwent a dual lung heart transplant to the Caramel House, the Center for Domestic Violence, as well as 38 young men brought from the Sudan by Catholic Charities. West Reserve Links represents the excellence, represents the profile, represents the access, it represents the dedication and commitment to the issues of the community. Whether helping people here locally or helping a village thousands of miles away, for the past 25 years, Western Reserve Links have remained committed to helping Cleveland and the world be a better place. Their work continues.